Hi everyone, welcome back to Java One for All. And in this video, we are going to see how to work with uh, reference types when creating methods. So before we start, uh, I'm going to use the student class from introduction classes because this is the perfect example when methods could be applied for reference types. In this case, we have two students and we are initializing our students here, but then we have the the same piece of code these three lines and these three lines if only one difference and that is the reference variable so let's just replicate this i'm going to close everything close out tabs and i'm going to domain and i'm going to replicate this uh, student so you can create a new class here or you can copy so right click on introduction to methods domain and then create a new student and you can copy these values right here so we now we have two students isn't going to give us a problem well unless you mix the packages it should be okay for java the student inside the introduction to methods and the one inside the introduction to classes they are completely different things for us as person as humans when we see students we know that we are talking about the same thing in the real world but for java they are completely different things and then i'm going to create here a new test called student test 01 okay and the same thing yes vm and remember we need a student to work and here is the part where we need to be careful when creating a student now we have two options one from introduction to classes and one from introduction to methods and you have to be careful because if you do misclick and you have the wrong import things may not behave the way you want so for example here as you know we are going to create an object and since we only have one student here we can just import uh, use this import to create the student but for example if i come here to introduction to classes a student and i copy this entire package because remember that is an option where you can type the entire name for the the object including the package and as you can see we have a compilation error because for java they are completely different things so be careful when you are importing the student should be from the package b introduction methods okay now i'm going to get rid of all these uh, guys here okay we have a student and we can give some values let's create two students student 01 and student uh, 02 so the first student we are going to give some values so for example the name of this student will be Midoriya and the sex or the gender will be male and student 01 dot age I would say 15 years old and I will duplicate this. Student 02, 02, and 02. This will be Sakura, female, and maybe 16. And then we need to print these values. So, as you know, we need to call the reference type, then the object, uh, the attribute that we want. So, name, and then here, uh, gender and age and since we have two students we have to do this twice but changing the reference variable so as you can see we have two objects and then of course we have to give different values because they are different people and then we have to print but if you take a look at the printing method they are basically the same thing the only thing that's changing is the reference uh, variable and maybe we can do something imagine that we only have one reference variable and we could access both objects in memory and this is how the methods they work with reference types so before we move on let's uh, draw because things will get uh, interesting now so basically this is what we have we have two objects student 01 and student 02 
and each one of these uh, I'm using just a reference here but I'm going to create an object so we do have one object here and we do have another object here so two objects because we are giving new twice new student new student okay so reference variables they work with reference so basically these have a reference i don't know let's uh, just give a random value here and let's give a random value here so this is like the reference to that space in memory and we have these values so i'm gonna copy here so i have these values here i'm going to change the size and i have these values here that i'm oops not this one this one cool so far you probably are comfortable with this structure but now i'm going to do the following i would like one variable to kind of have a reference to these two at some point in time because right now i'm having to duplicate and now i would like to have a high cohesion a single responsibility and i will create a new class and i will call this class student printer and i will just create a method public void i just want to print something and i will call it print the student printer will print and here i'm going to create a reference variable and be careful again if i create the wrong one if i import the wrong object i will not be able to call this method so let me just show you i imported from the wrong one so student printer i will create an object here so student printer printer new student printer so if i try to call right here student uh, printer dot print and it's asking for a student right if I try to send one of these reference, it will not work. Why? Because the packages are different. So please be careful when importing the package. So I'm just going to import this guy again. Actually, I don't need to import. Uh, we're going to see that later, but since we are in the same package, there is no need for me to use the import statement. It can find the class. So, and I will do the same that I have here. So I will just copy this one and I will put it here. But instead of student01, I will just say student. And I will call this printer twice. And I'm going to remove these two guys. And I will execute. I will just uh, add one line in between. So you will see different students. Control Shift F10. And as you can see, we have the same results, but now the responsibility for printing is in one place. So what is happening here? Remember, reference variables are expecting, waiting for references. And now I have another variable here that is student. So if I copy here, basically I have another variable. Now this is a student is a reference variable. This is basically the same as uh, creating here like this if it was like student like this it's the same thing so i'm saying here that i have a reference variable that's the type of student and uh, i'm expecting an object and this object should be also a student and this is what's happening so when i call here printer dot print send in the student 01 i'm saying hey print and the student that you have there just have the same reference as my student 01 is having the student 01 is having a reference to this object and now student will have the same reference to this object so basically it's happening this so this reference here Is the same two one six three two one so we have exactly the same reference that's why when i call 
printer dot print student zero one, I get the values Midoriya M fifteen. Why? Because these are the values that I have inside this spacing memory. And then it comes to the second one. We have here uh, just a blank line, and then I'm saying, okay, student, now you are going to have a reference to the object that student two is having a reference. Remember, local variables they die when the method is finished, and by the line 21, this method is finished. So basically, this does not exist anymore. But this is still there because the variable is still alive. Student01 is still alive. By the moment you get it here, student01 is still here. And now I'm saying, hey, students, uh, you should have a reference to the same type, the same object that student02 is having. So basically, you have to have a variable zero nine nine seven eight one and now when i call the student dot name dot gender dot age look from where it's going to get the data that's why we see here sakura f 16 because now when i call dot something it's going to this object and previously when i called dot something it was going to this object and after this method is finished so by the time we reach this line right here, this reference dies. But these two objects, they are still alive. Why are they still alive? Because right here, the scope where they are, they live, that's the static void main, it is still alive. So this scope is bigger than the scope of the print method. The print method is inside this scope. So once this dies, this one is still alive. So I can show you by just pressing Shift F9. So can you see here that student01 is having a reference to the space memory 811. And now if I go inside the student, just hold the control and click, left click, and I press F8, take a look. A student is having the same Space in memory, they have ever the same space 811 f8 f8 f8. Now that student doesn't exist anymore, but look, my student 01 is still having a reference to this space memory, and now student 02 812. And then when I press f8 again, a student has a reference to student 812 basically. It's happening this F9, and we get the results. Okay, so this is everything that I want to tell you in this video. We are going to go deeper into this topic because it's pretty important. And if you don't get this right, you are probably going to face several bugs. So I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye.